as you've seen in some of my other videos, I'm, I'm always interested in the latest gadgets and electronics, and spy cameras are one of those. This is a spy camera pin. Uh, as you can see, it's a pin camera. It's supposed to be 1080p, made by Lotusa. And I literally just pulled it out of the box, the, the Amazon box. So now I'm gonna unbox it here on camera. It says designed by Lotusa in Hong Kong. box we have one two three four five refills for the pin there is a this is just a USB extension see it has a female and a male end so I'm not sure what that's for just yet and then we have the pin itself and a quick start guide so see if I can figure this out okay if you can see, I can already see the camera in it. It's very small though. Try to get the camera to focus on it. There it is. You can see the camera right there in the middle of the screen. And it's hard to detect even from a few inches away. So you can't even see it in the light. It's a nice looking pin. It's a comfortable pin. And I wouldn't suspect it of being anything other than a pin. Got a little button on top that probably turns it on and off and changes modes. And on the back here are two little holes that are probably going to be the microphone. And if that is the case, then I can see that that would probably be an issue recording sound if you're putting it in your shirt pocket because it's going to rub against it and rubbing against the fabric is going to um, change the audio that is recorded. So let's take this thing apart and get it set up and then see what we have here. Okay. Wow, so it has a built-in USB connection. That's pretty cool. You can just plug that right into the side of your computer. I do like that and that explains why it has a, a regular USB extension. Uh, that's cool, I've never seen that. There is a little switch in here Not exactly sure what that little switch does. I guess that's why I should read the instructions. And then down inside the pin, we just have a regular pin refill. If you can see that down in there. So that means you would just turn the tip of this pin to get your pin out. Well, that's simple enough. So let's look at the quick start guide and see how this thing works. So we've got, oh, those, those are not the microphone. That's a, you can see it's a reset button and a status indicator light. On top of it, we have the HD camera and the on off button. This piece right here is going to be our SD card socket on the back side of the USB connection. So your, your SD card will go right down in the, the hole there on top. And then that switch changes it from video to photo. Cool. It's supposed to be 30 frames per second, as it says. 30 frames per second. AVI format. Uh, 1080p. It's, let's see, photo quality 2560 by 1440. It has an internal... 220 milliamp battery, um, 32 gig storage maximum supported, and it has approximately 70 minutes of use on full charge. So you just plug it into your computer using that USB port to charge it, and when it's solid yellow, that indicates a full charge. All right. It says here, note, it's a video only surveillance equipment. The pin camera has been intentionally re-engineered to eliminate the ability to record audio. Audio surveillance recording falls under federal and many states wiretapping laws and can also be considered a violation of the Fourth Amendment of the USA. 
that's a bit disappointing but if this thing truly does 1080p video at 30 frames per second then I will still be very satisfied because that is tremendous quality for such a small camera so now it's time I'm gonna go ahead and put this together charge it up and then I will add in some footage from the camera to the end of this video thanks for watching